Hello again everybody, I'm doing another one of these AVAS tests on the Polestar 2. I've identified the speaker grills on the Polestar 2. So we concluded in the other video that the reversing AVAS piece is working as expected. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this um, Rode lapel mic connected to my Zoom H1 up into the speaker in the front area and drive that forward a little bit and then with that obviously so close we should pick up if the actual sound is working as expected or not and kind of get some conclusionary thoughts on this but I also have a bit more information uh, from some of the research I've done about the AVAS system that may also explain maybe why things aren't working if they're not working. Okay, so before I go down to the car, show you where the speaker holes are, I print off a little bit of material that I found on the European Commission website around the kind of requirement for the electric and hybrid cars and the, the rules to basically emit um, some sounds for vulnerable road users. And the thing that is interesting in there, that I'd read this before, but this hadn't really clicked in my mind. So. If you're interested in looking this up, it's all related to the Commission Delegated Regulation EU 2017-1576, which basically stated uh, it's a mandate that all electric and hybrid cars to be fitted with a new safety device as of the 1st of July 2019, this being the Acoustic Vehicle Alerting System. So I think that's the key thing there, to be fitted with. So from 1st of July 2019, had to be fitted with. So... We know, I say we know, I'm pretty sure that the Polestar 2 is fitted with this, as we're kind of confirming a little bit when we look in the speaker area. I'll do my best to show it on the camera to see if there is a speaker up in there. But it's the next piece that makes me wonder if it's actually not on yet, and maybe it will get turned on later as part of a software update. So it says, the device will automatically generate a sound from the start of the car up to the speed of approximately 20 kilometers an hour and during reverse. We know it works in reverse. The sound emitting device will be obligatory in all new e-cars as of the 1st of July 2021. So that's the bit that's got me wondering is, yes, these cars since the 1st of July 2019 had to be fitted with the ability to produce that sound, but perhaps they don't actually have to be producing that sound until at least the 1st of July 2021. So again, Right now it's early February 2021, so maybe it's something that's not turned on yet. I don't know, but we're going to go downstairs. I'll show you where the speaker holes are. I'll show you the one in the back, but obviously we know that's working. Um, show you where the front one is, connect this up, uh, drive forwards, and uh, yeah, see if it does what we think, or not. Okay, so it's cold and damp out here, but I'm at the back of the Polestar 2 to show you where the speaker is. So let me just see if I can position the camera. It is just here. Let me just see if I can adjust the camera so I can see. See this little grill here? That is the speaker grill for the reversing sounds. Okay, then down here on the front, it's difficult to show, but I'll try and get the camera under there. It's just here. There, that speaker grill right there. That's it for the front sounding AVAS system. So I get the road bike up into that hole and then uh, I'll reverse back a bit, drive forwards and the sound that you'll hear will be the sound recorded from that road mic right up in that speaker area. So let's uh, do that. Okay, so we're getting the car. The road mic is up actually directly in the speaker grill. So should be really good. There may be a little bit of sound distortion because it is so close in there. But also we think the sound is quite quiet if it is working anyway. Got a microfiber towel on the bonnet with the road with the Zoom H1 on it just to stop things slipping off because the cable's not that long. So I'm gonna back it up, drive it forward and see if we can hear anything different this time.
Okay, so maximum speed we had there was five miles an hour, which would be fine, because it should be starting from as soon as you put it into drive, all the way up to 12 miles per hour. So I'm just gonna take a little listen back to hear what you heard and uh, see if we can draw any better conclusion from the previous video. Okay, so let's listen to it back. You know it's already, and I think it's conclusive. My previous video was kind of wrong. AVAS is working moving forwards, definitely 100%. I think it sounds actually just like what Polestar said it should sound like. It is just super quiet really, and you can't hear it. I don't think over the tire noise. Maybe if you're in like a multi-story car park or something, it's gonna be really clear, but I just think it's quite quiet and that's why people haven't picked up on the, the strange noise of it. Actually, well, the only other thing that's maybe a bit different is I have had a software update since I did the last video. So there is a chance that that may have changed something, but either way, at the time of doing this on the 2nd of February with the latest software version, which I'll put just below, front and rear AVAS is working on the Polestar 2, but it may just be a little bit quiet.